Hello and welcome to another episode of the Supercar Diaries. Today's question is whether this is the most complete MC20 that you can get for good money. Yeah, again, Eliante pulling up, feeling like Harry Belafonte. Uh, look at my racks, feel like Serena went from the back. Swing, pull like Jim, waves on swim, and a rock tins with the tax. Butterfly doors on the Tesla, I just spend shit on gas. The most extravagantly kitted out MC20 that you're gonna see from Novi Tech. You guys probably thinking, well, we've seen the other movies and it doesn't look that much different because it doesn't. We didn't really go to a very, very great extent making a whole package of extra parts for the scar for two reasons. Number one, a lot of carbon fiber parts you can get from Maserati. Number two, unfortunately, and maybe that's due to the time that the MC20 was launched, but we don't necessarily see this car going through the roof anytime soon. And so making so many components that takes a lot of time and effort is not necessarily really worth it. I'm sad to say, but Let's have a look at what we did do. Front lip over here, that is from Maserati in carbon fiber. But we have added these side fins on the air intakes over there. And I think it makes it look a little bit more aggressive, almost like uh, the teeth that you find on a spider. And then at the top over here, at the air vents, we've added these carbon bits just to assist the airflow going over the roof and also that being uh, shoved down this tunnel. This car rides on the NF10 wheels. It's the same ones that you find on the Ferraris. And I think they look really good in this car. Let me know down in the comments if you agree. Also, the kind of rim that you get here in that high gloss look, if you want to have that in a different kind of uh, surface finish or in a different color, then you can go and check out on our website, novitech.com. You see a whole bunch of different variants of that NF10 wheel over there. Well, Maserati's done such a good job at doing it themselves. What do you want to change on the side skirt? It just looks fantastic. They've left it in carbon fiber, so the whole car looks nice and wide. And that's been aided by the fact that it now rides low in the sport suspension. We've done this in all the other videos, but the party piece that we've created for this car, and you can't find this anywhere else in the world, you can't get that even at Maserati. And that is this carbon fiber insert over here that you get at the intake for the engine. Really lovely party piece. Normally there would be a bit of a rim over here, and now it's totally flush with the bodywork and the extended arm running over here onto the white body paint. I think that looks really, really nice. Again, NF10 filling out the bodyworks. Then at the back, the party continues with this very, very large ducktail. You can get a carbon fiber lip ducktail from Maserati themselves. You can decide whether you want to have theirs or ours. Ours is slightly enlarged, so it points up a little bit higher. So just helps with that airflow, pressing the car down into the ground. Let me know down in the comments, would you go with this ducktail or without it? Then the back of the car, really lovely. Maserati's done a fantastic job on this, just with that massive carbon fiber bumper diffuse at the back. However, that's housing our tail tips with our sports exhaust system and then covered in the carbon fiber tail tips. Now, <laughs> I have to say that when you look at these and the car has been driven, it's got nearly 2000 kilometers on the clock. The end tips still have a little bit of a gold finish on them. I love that look, just my thing, you know. Yeah. This uh, 200 kilogram, three liter twin turbocharged pre-ignition V6 that Maserati have put in the car, just sort of sat behind that monocoque carbon fiber system. That motor, well, it's a big, bold thing that they've done, you know, being a V6 and all that, and it's not with any EV power. Um, that's also been a challenge, which makes it difficult for the sound to be great. And I remember a couple of months ago, we visited the production where they actually confobulated the whole thing. We were able to hear some of the rough sounds that come out of it. And the huge challenge of this is, of course, that that engine is sitting right over there and you have just so much space to create sound. So really, hats down for the guys in the production team. They've just done a fantastic job on that exhaust system.
The rest of the work that we've done, apart from the internals on the exhaust and the uh, sports suspension, is here in the motor. With the plug and play system, the Entronic system that pushes the power up, it used to have 630 and 730 torques. Uh, it now pushes out, in the top form over here, 711 horsepower and 818 newton meters of torque. In standard form, it'll get you from zero to 100 in 2.9 seconds. That's what they say. I think it might be a little bit quicker. This is a fantastic car. I really tip my hat for Maserati for making this in such a time of life where, well, everything's going electric and hybrid and also for going the direction of using a V6 engine. You guys, let me know down in the comments what you think about this. If you're wondering why we're not driving it, well, we've driven it in all three other films. I doubt we can do anything more with it that we haven't done already. So feel free to drop by on our website, novitechgroup.com, and you can see what we have in stock over there. Also, if you want to follow us on Instagram, me personally at Beyond the Cook or Novitech at Novitech Group. And then, if you have not yet, you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, feel free to do so and hit that little ping pong bell so you can get notified every time we upload a new video which is now around about every second week i'll see you in that next one until then take care i gotta go dog i'm riding a road y'all i think that i'm back in my bag now so i need that go y'all got hits when he throw in the fastball just too quick for it peeling off like the whip orange seen the effort this piss poor i got too much i gotta tend to car payments and the rent due told y'all that i'm six foot but with the money stabbing i'm ten too too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view. Clean.